Thanks for watching this video on Accounts Class 12th. If you want to purchase the entire course, you can click the link in the description of this video. Or if you are watching this on mobile, you can click this downward arrow here and it will show you the link to purchase the entire course. Now what will be the journal entry if the, there is a for feature of shares after allotment and first call and these shares were issued at par. Let us look at that. Dursil Limited issued 75,000 equity shares of rupees 20 each at par. Amount payable on application was rupees 4 per share, on allotment rupees 12 per share, on first call rupees 2 per share, and on second call rupees 2 per share. A was allotted 300 shares. If A failed to pay allotment money and on his subsequent failure to pay the first call, his shares were forfeited. The necessary journal entry relating to the forfeiture of shares will be. Now when we talk about the forfeiture of shares, like I told you earlier, we need to find out what is the amount of money that the company has received. So what the company received was the amount at the time of application which is 4 per share. How many shares did A own? He had 300 shares. So the amount of money received from A on allotment was 300 into 4 or 1200 rupees. What was due from him which was not received? The amount of money due from him was at the time of allotment and at the time of call. Which call? The first call. At the time of first call he had to pay 2 per share or in other words 2 into 300 or 600. On allotment he had to pay 12 per share which is means 12 into 300 or 3600. Now whatever was received at the time of application is the money that would be forfeited. So the amount which will be credited to the share for feature account will be how much? It will be 1200 rupees. The amount of money which was made due but not received was 3600. So we will reverse this entry. When the amount was due, what would be the entry? Share allotment debit to equity share capital. Now we will reverse it which means equity share capital debit to share allotment. Same would be the case for first call. 600 was due, nothing was received. Or in other words, the equity share capital will be debited, share allotment will be credited, share first call will be credited and share for feature account will be credited. How much will be the credit to the for feature account? It will be 1200 which is what we have discussed here. The first call which was due but not received will be credited by 600. Why is this? Because when the amount was due from such shareholder, we would have debited the equity share first call account and credited the share applicable capital account. Similarly, for share allotment as well, the 3600 that we calculated will be reversed. And all these amounts will be reversed from equity share application, equity share capital account. 